Hey guys, this is Dave the Skin King from AcadeRacingSecrets.com. I'm trying not to be the next Justin Bieber on American Idol next week. Just kidding, I'm not. But seriously, I could be a singer, couldn't I? If you think I can be, leave your comments below. Um, hey guys, Dave the Skin King from AcadeRacingSecrets.com. I just felt like singing because it's 2011, it's January. I'm super excited to be here today. And I have some amazing content to share with you today uh, to help you clear up your acne and get clear skin. Um, the question of the day is, does caffeine cause acne? Does caffeine cause pimples? Does caffeine cause breakouts? Uh, cystic acne, does caffeine cause your skin to change in any way whatsoever? Great question and an awesome thing to look into. And I've done my fair share of research today on that topic and I've learned a lot about it. And I'm so excited to share it with you because I've heard so many different things and I really got the answer because I kept digging deeper and deeper until I found exactly the right answer. Uh, so the first article I read said that um, caffeine said that coffee and soda um, caused, uh, coffee and soda caused people to be less susceptible to liver diseases. And I was reading the article and when I read that I started laughing very, very hard. I was just laughing out loud, LOL, you know. And because soda and coffee do not benefit your health at all, like not even close. Um, so anyway, that was just one article, but um, back, back to caffeine. Um, caffeine is a diuretic, which basically means uh, it uh, kind of like shrinks your cells, squeezes the water out of them, causes you to urinate more often, um, which basically means caffeine is dehydrating. Caffeine dehydrates you. Uh, that's what diuretic means. Um, so when you drink caffeine, it dehydrates you. Um, another thing caffeine does is when you actually take caffeine, people take caffeine generally speaking to obviously get that boost of energy in the morning uh, so they can go to work or school or whatever and have that two, three hour boost of, you know, I'm feeling good, I feel like my mind, I'm fresh, I'm woo, energy, woo, a lot of good stuff. Uh, but what happens is there's a crash. Um, the reason you get this big boost of energy and then there's a crash is because what caffeine does in the body is caffeine, uh, it goes into your body and it gets into your cells and it actually goes into your brain. Yeah, it gets all the way up there. You drink it, it goes down here and it's like, gets back into your brain. It actually interferes with your neurons in your brain. Uh, and it really releases uh, stress, uh, basically fight or flight, uh, and it caught, it's basically, uh, that's what it does in your body. It creates a fight or flight situation in your body. It, it tenses up your muscles. Um, it just like really like, you know, fight or flight mode basically. And it releases, uh, it's basically stress on the body, which obviously isn't good because you're kind of impacting your body with little bits of stress every time you do it. But then also it releases a hormone in the body there's actually a few different hormones, and I don't know how to pronounce them, so I won't even try. But it releases hormones in the body, too. And usually, a lot of times, uh, the reason why our energy levels are low is because our hormones are imbalanced, which hormones will affect, affect energy levels and skin care both. Because when your hormones jump, uh, it'll increase oil production, which will cause more acne and oil your skin as well. So, 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 bringing all this together into a compact, you know, teachable point like this. Uh, what this means is that basically caffeine is not good, first of all, um, and it comes in many different forms. So let me talk about the different forms before I explain uh, what it does with your skin exactly. Um, caffeine, it, obviously coffee, uh, caffeinated coffee, uh, sodas, um, energy drinks, and uh, also believe it or not, uh, well, this is not, believe it or not, really, but uh, tea. You know, there's uncaffeinated and caffeinated tea. And I'm, I'm learning recently that you really have to be careful and watch what teas you drink because some will contain caffeine and a lot of them aren't even organic, which isn't good either. Um, so tea, you know, usually tea is really good for you. And, and I mean, it is good for you, but you've got to watch what kind you get, what brand, if it's organic or not, if it's caffeinated, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, so soda, we talked about soda. Um, that has caffeine, that's not good, that's going to cause more acne than that. I already made another video about that, so you can go check that out if you want to learn more about that. Um, the next thing, uh, coffee. Coffee is caffeinated. Um, coffee is going to dehydrate your body, which is, most people don't, uh, are dehydrated in the first place. And when your body is dehydrated, your skin, which is the largest, largest organ in your body, is going to be dehydrated as well. 
Um, so by drinking coffee, you're going to dehydrate yourself. Tea, if it's caffeinated, it's going to do the same thing. And energy, dr energy drinks, which contain caffeine, sugar, more caffeine, and more sugar, and dyes, um, that's like the worst. The, if you were to put these on a scale, it'd be like energy drinks, sodas, coffee, tea. Worst to best. Um, but energy drinks, just packed and loaded with caffeine, loaded with sugar and dyes, and a lot of preservatives and just things that you do not want to touch energy drinks. Um, so caffeine comes in all these forms and flavors in a sense, and the best thing, like I said, would be to drink tea out of those, um, but I would stay away from caffeinated tea. So caffeine comes in those forms, so stay away from those things as much as possible, unless it's tea and it's organic and it's uncaffeinated. That's the specificity of the tea. Organic, uncaffeinated green tea, or ginger tea, or mint tea. Um, so, tea's okay, as long as it's those things. But the other things stay away from. So, how does caffeine cause acne and pimples? Caffeine does a few things in the body, like I said. It causes uh, dehydration because it's diuretic, which basically means it's going to cause you to urinate more. flushes the water out of your body. So, if you are dehydrated, it's going to cause you to become even more dehydrated, which isn't going to hydrate your skin, which is not going to help cleanse the toxins and cleanse the things that cause acne. And when water is cleansed and you don't have enough water in your body and you're dehydrated, it can't bring the nutrition to the skin cells to heal them and create new skin cells faster. So basically by being dehydrated, you slow the healing process of your acne and you cause your skin and your pores and everything to be more stagnant because the water flushes it out. Um, so that's one thing that, that the caffeine is going to do. It's going to dehydrate you. The second thing the caffeine does is it's going to cause this uh, stress in your body, which stress is another thing, uh, the stress hormone, actually causes your body to uh, slow its healing process. So anything, this is anything in your body. If you, you know, sore muscles, if you're, you know, whatever it may be, if you have scars or whatever, uh, it's going to slow the healing process when, when there's stress in the body because it's not is efficient, your body isn't optimized to its peak health uh, potential, it's, it's, it's below par, um, well, above par, if we're talking golf, but below par otherwise. <laughs> so uh, that's another thing it does, it causes stress, which is going to cause your uh, healing process to slow down. The other thing it does, it's going to release both stress hormones, and there's, there's several types of hormones, the other one is going to affect your hormone levels, which can cause a hormonal imbalance, which will cause... Uh, either the production of too much, and this obviously the, the caffeine affects, you know, it depends on what else you have in your diet and drinking or eating, but uh, by producing more stress hormones and hormones that are, um, the, the other hormones, it will cause either uh, too much hormone production or too little hormone production, and either way it's imbalanced. Either way you have to get that back to balance, because if it's too little, uh, it's not going to recover, create, you know, new skin cells, collagen production, you know, all those types of things in your skin. But if it's too high, your skin's going to be too oily, and the pores are going to be clogged, and it's not going to be balanced in that way. So that's why balance is very important with hormones and stress levels and that kind of thing. So, to bring all that together, caffeine, yes, it will cause acne and pimples and breakouts to grow and be sus basically to be sustained and to grow further, and it's definitely not good. So stay away from caffeine. Um, and don't listen to people if they say caffeine is good for you and soda is good for you and it's going to help your liver because that's not true at all. Um, caffeine is something that actually affects uh, your body's health through stress, hormone imbalances, and dehydration. And those three things will cause acne to be sustained or further developed and grown in more inflammation and that kind of stuff. So, um, guys, it's really important too, and that's pretty much it for the caffeine part of this video. But one thing I want to help you understand, it's really important to understand that if someone is teaching about acne or pimples or breakouts or skincare or dermatology or health or nutrition or detoxing or whatever, it's very important to understand if they know what they're talking about or not. I was watching a video um, recently in this guy, and I won't name names because I've, yeah, I just won't name names. Um, he's, he made a video about something, and then basically the video was like a minute and 30 seconds long, and he said, yeah, I really don't know. The, the whole video says, yeah, I don't really know anything about this, and I don't know if it causes acne or whatever, and yeah, that's it. And I was like, what? What is the point of this video? Why did you make this video? And I, I know now it's because he's promoting his website, because I get yeah, his website in every video, but he basically made a bit, bunch of videos saying, I don't know anything about this, and it could, uh, it may help, may cause acne, may not, may this, 
And then he pointed to his left side. I was like, what are you doing? You're not helping you. I don't know. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to rant about that because if you see people that are saying they don't know what they're talking, are saying they don't understand this or they don't get it, then stop watching their videos and stop being kind of blind and caught in dumbness because there's so many people out there doing this, it's ridiculous. I, there's, I mean, I understand, yeah, if you don't understand, you know, don't act like you do understand, but um, what's the point of making a video telling people, well, I really don't know, it just causes more mass confusion. The goal of my channel with Acne Racing Secrets is to help you understand how to get clear skin, is to help you understand what causes your acne, what helps heal your skin so you can have healthy skin, so you can put those pieces of the puzzle together and get clear skin. So, um, when I read and learn and research about different topics, I go and do research on multiple websites, Google it multiple times in different terms and different websites and different authors and whatever. I really do my research and dig deep into something. And if you are finding people that aren't digging deep into information, don't take their advice. If they say they don't know what they're talking about, then don't listen to their other videos because they probably don't know what they're talking about there either. If they don't know one area of acne or skin care, they're probably not going to know another area as well as they could. Um, so, for example, with caffeine, I, there's no, not many people making videos about caffeine and acne, but someone might say, I really don't know if it causes acne, not many people are talking about it. What I did, and I looked into acne and caffeine, but I also looked into what caffeine does in the body, causes dehydration, stress hormones, um, and uh, uh, other hormone uh, you know, secretion in, in the brain, um, which will cause hormonal imbalances in the body, which we know can cause oily skin or dry skin and the stress level is going to slow healing and dehydration is going to cause your skin to dry out and be, uh, not flush the toxins and things out of your skin as often. So that just relates back to, okay, caffeine causes things that cause acne, okay? So it may not be a direct link, but you have to like link things together and see the big picture of things because caffeine will cause things to be out of balance that will cause your acne, okay? So I hope that makes sense and I hope you really understand um, who's legit, who knows what they're talking about on YouTube. Um, there's, there's a few good people out there that I found talking about acne and skincare, but there's not a whole lot. And maybe I'll uh, you know, get to know them better and share them, share their information on my YouTube channel. But um, that's it for this YouTube video, guys. This is Dave the Skin King from AcneRacingSecrets.com. So happy you're viewing this video. So happy you're bettering your life and improving your health, increasing your health, getting clearer skin and listening to these videos. Please hit the thumbs up on this video if you like it and you've learned something from it. Please leave your comments below. And let me know if I can be the next Justin Bieber, just a little bit older and smarter in terms of skincare. And uh, yeah, so please hit the like button below, comment on this video, favorite this video, share this video, and uh, visit my website, acneracingspeakers.com below, and take care and have an awesome rest of the day. Oh yeah, and subscribe to the channel above if you want to see more videos. Take care and have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.